<laughs> Hi everybody, Nick here, drums in Spafford. We are going to be experiencing a rig rundown by me. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my drum set that I play live on stage and in the studio with our beautiful band Spafford. And we're gonna start with my drums. And they are Candy Apple Red Tama Star Classic Maple Drums. I have a 22 inch kick drum here, a 12 inch, I'm sorry, a 10 inch here, a 12 inch here, an eight inch down here, and a 16 inch floor tom here. What's kind of unique about the way that I set these toms up is instead of setting them up in complete descending order, which would be 8, 10, 12, 16, I decided to do 10, 12, 8, 16. And that was inspired by a drummer named Jojo Mayer, who I saw put his 8-inch tom over here on the right side of his floor tom, and I thought it was really interesting the way he did fills. Sometimes he would end with a higher tom, and it just sounded really cool versus ending with a floor tom. So I took that inspiration and put the 8-inch tom right there. Instead of being like this, which is just a normal descending fill, when I do a descending fill, it sounds like this. So, I have two snare drums here. My main snare is a 14 inch Thomas Star Classic G Maple snare. It has a beautiful dark wood stain on it. And it's a nice big fat kind of lower sounding snare drum. And here on my left, I have a side snare drum, which is a 13 inch pearl maple snare drum. And I think they sound very nice when played together in a groove, kind of like this. Kind of a nice contrast there. And real quick, I'll just talk about the drum heads that I use on these drums. I'm a Evans drum heads in Dorsey. And so I have these clear Evans EC2S drum heads on my tom toms and my side snare. They have a, a muffling ring around them, which adds a little bit of dampening to the head. And they're clear, which adds some attack and some nice resonance to the drums. On my kick drum, I use an Evans EMAD on the front, which has a muffling ring also. And on my snare drum, I have an Evans orchestral staccato coated snare, coated snare head on the top of my main snare. And on the bottoms of the Tom Toms, I use Evans G1 resonant heads, which have really make these Toms sing and give them the tonal quality that I really like from these toms. So let's move on to some percussion. Over here on my right side, I have a sequence of blocks and bells. Here I have an LP wood block. Here I have an LP a go-go bell. And here I have an LP cowbell. And this wood block you can hear showcased on the song Minds Unchained by Spafford. It sounds like this. And then here, this cowbell you can hear showcased on the song Windmill by Spafford. Also, I have this shaker made by LP also, which has a custom made mount on it by our good friend Brian Stubblefield. And this shaker, I only play on one song, but it always has to be here just in case we play that song and it's called Gold Glittered Hat. And it goes something like this.
Super unique groove. Love that groove. Okay, symbols. I have here a 16 inch AAX Explosion Fast Crash, which is a nice symbol to accent at the end of fills. It is a nice thin crash, bites, has a nice bite to it and cuts through the mix. Here is kind of an auxiliary ride symbol, which is an AAX Raw Bell Dry Ride 21 inch, which I also have a half, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> my voice cracked. I have half of a cymbal sizzle on top of that one. Here I have a main ride cymbal, which is a Peisty 20 inch prototype ride. Here I have a 12 inch Zildjian A splash cymbal. Here I have a Zildjian K sweet crash 19 inch big fat sound from that symbol, really love it. Also has a nice bell here, which you can hear on the 6-8 kind of floaty part in the song Tots Tots. Another splash symbol here, an 11 inch AAX Sabian Explosion Crash, Splash, excuse me. These sound really nice in sequence with each other. The 12 inch splash and the 11 inch splash. And hi-hats, I have a pair of Sabian 14 inch click hats as my main hi-hats here. And auxiliary hi-hats, I have 13 inch AAX Sabian stage hats. These also sound nice in combination with each other. Played something like this. So, moving on to just want to talk about these. Earthworks overheads here, something that we always have carried a lot of weight with us is how our instruments sound in our in-ear monitors. And these Earthworks high definition overheads have just done an incredible job of capturing the sound of my drum set as a whole. So we use the Earthworks high definition overheads the Earthworks snare mic on the top of the snare and the Earthworks kick mic on the kick out. As you can see right there going into the port of the kick drum. And over here on my left side, I have two electronic machines. And this pad machine right here is called an Elisa Sample Pad Pro. And I load samples onto this machine and I have samples like 808 kick drums and low end kick drops. I also have clap sounds and shaker sounds and other weird effects sounds. And this can be used in lots of different ways. Korg Chaosolator Pro, which is a small XY synthesizer machine, and I use it for swelling sounds and other kind of trippy effects. Kind of sounds like this. It's good for like the, the buildups in electronic jams. And also over here on my left, I have an iPad that runs an application that allows me to control my in-ear monitor mix. I can control the faders on there and turn the levels up and down on the instruments how, how I would like to hear them. I use these drumsticks, which are, I'm a Promark drumstick in Dorsey, and I use the Bill Bruford SD4Ws, Rock Maple, and they're incredible sticks. They balance 
and feel just the way I want a drumstick to feel. And that's my rig rundown. I want to thank all my endorsers for making this happen. Thanks to Spafford. Thank you to all of our fans. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the road out there soon.